Hi, let's go through the process of getting our own Kusama address. First, you'll have to go to polkadot.js.org slash extension to download the browser extension. You can download it for Chrome or for Firefox. Once you've downloaded the extension and installed it into your browser, you'll have a separate icon in your toolbar. This icon can be clicked to reveal the currently added addresses. For you, this will be an empty window. Click the Add Account button. In my case, this is the little plus icon up here, though in your case, it will probably, probably be a big plus icon in the middle. And select Create New Account. Here, you get a passphrase. This passphrase can be used to regenerate your account at any point in the future, even if you lose access to your computer. Keep it very, very safe. Write it down somewhere and keep it offline. It's best to keep it off the computer you registered this wallet on, and it is absolutely recommended to remove it from any online accessible devices, especially from cloud hosting. Do not store this on cloud hosting like Dropbox, Google Cloud, and so on. Once you have saved your mnemonic phrase, you can click I have saved my mnemonic seed safely and proceed. At this point, you will be able to set a descriptive name for your account. This name is only for your use. You will only see this name in your own extension. Other people will not see this name. This is for your categorization. If you have a lot of accounts, this is very useful. We'll call it my account. Then you will set a password. So let's set a password and then let's repeat it. Add account with the generated seed is the next step, at which point your account will be added to the list. You now have your own account in your Polkadot.js extension. To make the account accessible on a, on a wide variety of blockchains, and when you're using substrate-based blockchains like Polkadot, Kusama, Unique Network, and others, you can actually use the same address on all of them. However, this address will be represented in a different format depending on which chain you're looking at. So you can see here, if you open the menu for each individual account, you can select for which account you want to use it. In your case, since you're making a Kusama account, you would select Kusama Relay Chain. But you can also change this to allow use on any chain if you wish. For now, we'll set Use on Kusama Relay Chain. Next up, let's register this account and log in with it to Canaria. So on Canaria, there's a Connect Wallet button. You can click it and then you will have some terms and conditions to accept. Once you do, you can select I agree, and then you can select your Kusama account. The account you just added should now be in this drop-down menu. This is my account, and this is the address that I've added. Once I click it, I have connected my account. That's it. It's as simple as that.